class is in session, people. The headmaster is here. Hello everybody and welcome to the first instalment of Addicts Editions in 2021-22. It's been longly awaited but the series is finally back. My Charlton Athletic Transfer Series where I talk about all of the ingoings and outgoings regarding the mighty Addicts. And today, finally on the 15th of June, after a lot of whinging and moaning on social media, Charlton have finally kick-started their proceedings in the summer window, and it is the return of a familiar face. Charlton Athletic have completed the permanent signing of Preston North End striker, the headmaster, Jaden Stockley. The 27-year-old has completed a permanent move to SE7 for an undisclosed fee on a three-year deal. What a way to start this transfer window, honestly. What a way to kick things off. Absolutely fantastic bit of business. A long time coming, as many Charlton fans will say, but finally, we are off the mark in the transfer window, and it is a bloody good addition as well. So, as ever, with these Addicts Editions episodes, we will be going through the club's article about the signing and see what he, Nigel Adkins, and Thomas Soundgard has to say. Charlton Athletic are delighted to confirm the permanent signing of Jaden Stockley from Preston North End for an undisclosed fee. The striker scored eight goals with two assists in 22 appearances during a successful loan spell with the Addicts at the end of the 2020-21 season, and has penned a three-year deal with the club amid plenty of interest from other teams in Sky Bet League 1. Stockley, who publicly stated his intent to stay at the Valley on numerous occasions, was excited to sign for the club. He said, I'm very pleased that my journey at Charlton isn't over. I have loved my time here and now I'll get the chance to play in front of the fans and experience the Valley properly. We just missed out on a playoff place on goal difference last season, so there is some unfinished business. I can't wait to get started. The 27-year-old becomes the club's first signing of the summer transfer window and is also the first signing since since the appointment of Nigel Adkins as Charlton manager. Adkins said, I'm delighted we've signed Stockley. He was a crucial part of our strong finish to last season. The Charlton fans will already be very aware of what he brings. He works hard when we are in and out of possession. He brings others into play well, I'm guessing they're supposed to say as well. He has a lot of quality on the ball and he brings us goals. He's also a fantastic character, someone who is great to have around the dressing room. So I'm looking forward to continue working with him. Charlton owner Thomas Sangod said, Jaden came in in January and made a big difference for us. He was popular with with the fans, players and staff. Given his form and track record, there was understandably interest in signing him from our promotion rivals. He wanted to play for Charlton Athletic though and we wanted him here, so I am pleased we've been able to sign him permanently. I'm sure the fans will give him a warm welcome when he finally gets to play in front of our supporters at the Valley. So there is the club's article. There is Stockley, Adkins and Sandgard's thoughts on Stockley's arrival. And now we'll go through my thoughts on the signing. And I don't think it takes a genius to guess what I think about this signing. It is a bloody good addition to our squad. What a way to start off this transfer window. And I think it is just the perfect, perfect deal for us. A player that is here on a long-term basis, on a three-year contract, a player that is in form after a brilliant end to last season. And above all, he is a player that wants to actually be here and play for the shirt. He has said on numerous occasions publicly, you know, in the South London Press and The Sun, that he wants to come back here and play for us. It was obviously his main preference. There was a lot of interest from other League One clubs. Sheffield Wednesday, I believe, Ipswich were interested as well. And the main one was, of course, Portsmouth, who were reportedly in talks with him for... A number of days, maybe even a week or so, and reportedly they had like a £350,000 uh, bid in for him, and it did look likely that he would be joining Pompey, but he done a U-turn literally out of nowhere, change of heart, and he is now officially a Charlton Athletic player. Obviously, the statement does say that we've signed him for an undisclosed fee. Uh, I'd assume that it's probably in around the £400,000, £450,000 range. That's what the rumours are suggesting. I think £450,000 is a pretty good deal for a striker that has proven his worth at this level. And then, of course, the three-year deal. I mean, it's exactly what we need. One thing that we need in this squad this season is stability. We cannot be in another situation next Next summer where we have to rebuild the squad from scratch all over again. We need a team that is going to be here long term and Stockley coming in on a three year deal and of course wanting to play for the club is exactly what we needed. Now what does Stockley bring to Cholton? I think we all know that. Obviously he is a target man and is absolutely dominant in the air. I mean obviously he was absolutely superb in the air you know 
bringing those balls down, flicking them on to bring others into play. Some people do not like the tactic that we play with him, and I completely agree with that. I think that the hoof ball, smash the ball to him and pray tactic is very, very depressing to watch, and it's not glamorous. But some Charlton fans were even saying on social media, they were going as far as saying that they didn't want Stockley to come back, and I don't agree with that at all. I know some people didn't like him because of the tactic that we played. The way I see it, Stockley is not the problem in that situation. It is simply the tactic that we play, and I don't like that tactic. But Stockley is nowhere near the problem. Eight goals in 22 appearances towards the back end of last season. Across a full season with that record, that averages to just under 17 goals a season, which is just, it's a phenomenal record and you'd happily take that. And I definitely don't understand why some Charlton fans were saying that they wouldn't want him to come back permanently. But his record speaks for itself. I mean, as I say, eight goals in 22 appearances. He ended the season absolutely fantastically and he was a pivotal part of our strong end to the season that year. And it's fantastic, you know, it's fantastic that we've brought him in. He's obviously going to be a key figure to our team next season. I I have full confidence that he's going to get into double figures next season. Plus, beating out promotion rivals, you know, Sheffield Wednesday, Ipswich and Portsmouth to his signature is always a bonus as well. Now, obviously, with the signing of Jaden Stuckley, it does pretty much mean that our attack is almost there. I know we only have like 11 players contracted to the club now, but four of them are attackers. Stuckley obviously coming in today. Then you've got Washington, Schwartz and obviously Josh Davison, who is a part of the team after his loan spill. Now, the final piece of the puzzle in the attacking third is, of course, Chuck Sanike. He is still out of contract at the end of the month, so we do need to try and tie him down, and that effectively would be the attack sorted out now. I do have my doubts about that, because if we are to get Chucks tied down, which I do hope that we do, we have the same attack that we had last season. And I do have my doubts about that because I don't really see, apart from Stockley, a consistent scorer in that squad. I mean, Chuck Sneak obviously was our top scorer with 15 goals, but he was mainly effective off the bench and couldn't score consistently. Washington, although I do like him because he is pacey and is that striker that needs to feed off, you know, Anike and Stockley and players like that and get the goals. But again, he had his on and off moments last season and, you know, again, didn't score consistently. Stockley, I think, was the most consistent scorer of the four of them. And then Schwartz obviously had a disappointing start to life in SE7, but I am still confident and optimistic that he can sort himself out next season and hopefully he will grab a couple of goals here and there. But I do have my doubts, you know, because I don't really see a consistent scorer amongst those four unknown as to whether Davison will be playing a part in the squad. Will he be sent out on loan? Will he be moved on permanently? Or will Adkins use him? You know, it's going to be interesting to see what we do. But I do have my doubts. Can't help but feel that, you know, the attacking third is is still weak because we don't really have a consistent scorer and I would like us to sign one more player but obviously that does mean we may have to sacrifice someone whether that means Anike moves on somewhere else whether that's, whether that's his choice or not but I would like Chucks to stay whether that means we move on Schwartz permanently or whatever I don't really know but despite my doubts about the attack I think it is the least of our worries at the moment with the signing of Stockley I feel like we now need to focus on other areas in particular in my opinion the central of midfield and the defence that looks completely decimated at the moment at at the moment we've only got two central midfielders contracted to the club and we've only got one centre back in Ryan Innes, the two central midfielders sorry being Alex Gilby and Albie Morgan. Obviously Ben Watson and Jason Pearce in those two positions are out of contracts and it probably is likely they are going to sign on but we do need a lot of bodies in those two positions as well as obviously a new goalkeeper if Amos doesn't sign on. Uh, we need a new right back if Matthews doesn't sign on. We need a left back to compete with Purrington. I'd like us to sign a defensive midfielder to compete with Watson because we can't rely on him to start. I'd like us to sign another winger, another wide man to obviously be on the other side to Dialang Jaisimi, and then potentially another striker if Chucks is to leave or if Chucks does stay, you know, there is that doubt in my mind that we do need to sign another one and let someone go because, as I say, I don't think we have a consistent scorer. But nonetheless, I think the attack is the least of our worries now with the signing of the headmaster, Jaden Stockley, and we should now be looking to focus on other areas, in particular the central midfield and the defence. But I am very, very happy with this bit of business. As I say, it is the perfect way to start this transfer window. Jaden Stockley is here. I cannot wait to see him play at the Valley with fans cheering, cheering him on and I'm sure that he is looking forward to that as well. So that is it for this video, guys. That is it for the first episode of the 2021-22 edition of Addicts Editions. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, can you possibly leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and turn on those post notifications so notified of when I post. Welcome to Charlton Athletic, Jaden Stockley. 
he joins the club on a three-year deal for an undisclosed fee from Preston North End. What do you guys think of the signing? Let me know in the comments below. Cannot wait now. Hopefully, there's one... There's one in, many, many more to go. This is the start of a very busy transfer window, and I cannot wait to see what Adkins, Jackson, Yule, Gallon, and Sangard can conjure up and who they can bring in to boost our squad. This has been Tyler Onitson. Have a nice day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy, stay safe, class dismissed.